Hi, I'm Ryan Schlieper, uh, Product Marketing for Gaming here at Creative, and um, we've actually received a lot of questions through our Facebook and Twitter pages and uh, through our forums about what are um, what have we done to prepare for the Windows 7 launch, and um, we're actually really excited here at Creative. Um, we've done a lot of preparation for Windows 7. Um, this time around, uh, we've been testing Windows 7 for about six months. We've had a beta plan, uh, beta test in place, and uh, the test has gone extremely well. Um, when Vista was launched, there was an inherent change to the audio engine. Those changes were occurring almost up to the last minute prior to launch. Um, and uh, we adapted as best we could um, as we were going along the process. Um, but this time, um, those changes have settled in somewhat, and um, we've actually been working very closely with Microsoft to make sure that our drivers are compatible, so it should be no issue there. One thing you want to keep in mind um, is that not every sound card is going to have uh, Wickle certified drivers for Windows 7 or Vista, and the reason for that is because there are um, uh, specifications you need to meet that were set uh, the current cards that are going to meet that specification are anything from the Titanium series and then our current USB devices such as the X-Fi Go or the Sound Blaster Surround 5.1. So getting, to, uh, getting your driver for um, Windows 7 for one of your Sound Blaster devices is really simple. Basically just go to www.soundblaster.com and right in the middle here, you see towards the bottom, um, right, uh, you'll see the Windows 7 drivers uh, graphic. You click on that, and that's going to take you straight to our page. And you just look down the list for your Windows 7, your devices. And if there is a driver for your device, you'll be able to download it right here.